All right. So, so the topic we're talking about, Graham Rising to you, love. The topic we're talking about today is is get ready. And a lot of people are seeing get ready and say, well, get ready. What are we getting ready for? What what do you what are you talking about, Candy? Uh, this motivation today is get ready. I'm trying to prepare you for what has been promised. I'm going to say that again, my loves. I'm trying to... Empress! Hey, love. I'm trying to prepare you for what has already been promised. All right? So my message to my king and queens today is to get ready. Get ready for what has been called for your life. Get ready for what the Most High has spoken, every promise, every purpose, your destiny. Get ready. Prepare yourself for the greatness that has been spoken over you. I was just about to type the same thing. Oh, <laughs> thank you, love. I appreciate it. So, all right, get ready. So, so a lot of my king and queens are, Candy, what do you mean? Get, what are we getting ready for? What's happening? Do you, I have some news. Yeah, I do have some news. I do have some news, my king and queens. Hey, superhero. Hey, love. I have some news. That's why I'm telling you, get ready. The news that I have is it's more than this. The life that you're experiencing, what you're experiencing today, even if you're at your best, there is more than your best. I'm telling you right now, there is, there is more than your best that you're going to experience. You hear me? The best that you ever had, the best after that you ever dealt with, the best that you have ever experienced, there's more than that. And I want you guys to understand that so we got to begin to get to a place to get ready. But we can't get ready if we don't believe in what has been spoken over our life. I'm going to say that again. But we can't get ready if we don't believe that there's more. I'm not going to prepare myself for something that I don't believe that I'm walking in. Do you see that? I'm not going to prepare myself to be greater, to be in what's better, to be in what's greater. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm getting ready for something. I believe that there's more than what I'm experiencing today. And that gets us to a place to get ready. I'm not going to prepare for something I don't believe. So are we in a position to believe that there is more than what I have today, even if I feel like I'm living my best life? Is there more beyond my best? Come on, that part. Is there more beyond my best? Is this that is this all come on sunflower is this all that life hey natural is this all that life has to offer me even if I feel it's my best because I got news for you it says that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard nor has it entered into the hearts of men all that he has prepared for me so what I need to know is king and queens are you ready for what has been prepared for you not something that you have seen before not no man has seen before not no man has heard before. Are you ready for the thing that has never been experienced? Come on, natural. And that's what we're talking about. Are you ready? Are you ready for greater? Are you ready for the thing that has been prepared for you since before you was conceived in your mother's womb? Do you believe that is there for you? Because a lot of things that we go through in this life take us to a point. Come on, show you right. Take us to a point where they get us in a place that we don't believe beyond what we experience. Right? I never had enough, so I'm never going to have enough. I always was cheated on, so I will always be cheated on. I, I've been living in lack my whole life, so I'm, I, I will live in lack. Nothing ever works out, so it won't work out. And we begin to believe that we live this life and we go through this life of us believing what we experience is all that we have. Us believing that what we experience is that's all we're going to get. The life experience we have never got to us to a point that we are to prepare us to get ready for more. Right? Everything that we do, bam! Everything that we do... And everything that we have our hands in is not taking us up to a place to prepare us for more than what we know. <laughs> right? That's why it's so imperative to have people around you that have vision. 
they, they, they have vision to see beyond your circumstance. Do you have vision to see beyond what you're going through today? Do you have vision to see beyond your circumstance of what you are dealing with now? Do you have vision to see beyond your best? And that, that part is deep. Because every time we get to the best that we ever experience, we feel like there's nothing better than that. And I'm talking to you king and queens out there because I, I know I'm not the only one that's been there. But I held on to relationships because I felt like it's the best that I ever had, not the best that I will ever have. I'm going to say that again. I know that there's king and queens out there that experienced what I have experienced. That I held on to that toxic relationship because I felt like it was the best that I ever had. Not the best that I will, will ever have. More than what you're experiencing today. Whether you're in a hard place in your life or you're in a better place in your life. There is more than today. Come on Tony, Tony. There is more than today. There has been there has been things that have been promised to you before you was even thank you Rican before you was conceived in your mother's womb there has been things that have been promised to you that you must live out And if anybody's going to make you do it or make sure you get there it has to be you It has to be you You have to want it for you why because you deserve it Candy, I did some things in my life. If I began to list to you the things that I have done in my life, you ain't going to feel like I deserve what you're speaking of. I am, though. You will, though. You deserve it. I don't care what you have done. We have been created perfectly imperfect, so there's things that you're not going to have it all together that does not make you forfeit the destiny that has been called for your life. The world and life and people will have you believe that this is it. Right? Depending on who you have around you, Mr. New York, depending on who you have around you, who is connected to you, who is your real friends, who is your real family, who really cares about you unconditionally, that will let you know life is more than what you're experiencing. And we don't want to think about it. Thank you, Rika. Um... Yes, and you don't we don't you don't want to think about it if because it can't be it can't be greater than what I have. The reason with us is in human nature naturally because we haven't experienced it yet, we don't believe it. So what I'm asking you king and queens today is to get ready for something that you have never experienced before. Get ready for something that you have never even imagined. To get ready for something that you could not believe. Do you have faith in your father the most high enough to believe that there is greater in store for you? Come on now. To believe that there is greater in store for you. And I'm not saying that, thank you Sunflower, I'm not saying that going off of what, what you have done in your life, um, who you are, what you did, I'm not saying off of none of that. You have to have faith enough to know where you came from. Faith enough to know where you came from. Thank you Candice. <laughs> she did good, right? The problem that, the reason why we don't get ready is because we don't believe it ourselves. The reason why, hey baby doll, the reason why we don't get ready is because we don't even believe that there's more than this thing called life that we're living right now. We don't believe there's more, so there's no preparation to get ready for anything new. There is something inside of us universally that is pulling us closer towards our destiny. Closer to something more than I have experienced today. Something more than the feeling of when I had my children. Is that even possible? Something greater than creating life. There is something more that is drawing me out of what I'm in today.
you have to come to a place to believe in who you are. No more excuses, okay? No more excuses on why you can't. I'm going to say that again. No more excuses on why you can't. I'm going to say that again. No more excuses, my king. No more excuses, my queen, on why you can't. No more. Enough is enough. Because if you don't want it for yourself, hell, no one else is going to get it for you. No more excuses. I don't want you to bring up the excuses. Come on, Elizabeth. Hey, Big Zon. That's right, Sunflower. I need you. Come on. Come on. I need you. Hey, love. Yes, Nike. No more excuses. And I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about you right now. I'm talking about you right now, my king and queens. No more excuses because you know who's holding you back? You are. I know it's easier for you to blame the people that are connected to you. I know it's easier for you to blame the people that did you wrong. I know it's easier for you to blame your childhood and the things that you have experienced and the traumas that you dealt with. I know it's a lot easier to blame everybody but yourself, but we're going to take some accountability this, this day and we're going to point the finger to where it belongs and that's to us because we are the ones who are choosing to relive these traumas that are holding us back over and over in our life when it happened 15, 20, 30 years ago. We could never get to a place to get ready if we do not believe that we are a part of the reason why we have not getting ready yet. No more excuses. I'm too old, I'm too young, I don't have enough money, I have, I have, I have too much, I have too much debt, I, I, don't, I don't have a house, I have, don't have this all together, my hair doesn't look right, my face, I don't want to go out and get a job, there's coronavirus, I don't know more excuses. When I say get ready, I'm talking about get ready, I didn't say why you're not. I don't want to hear why you're not getting ready. I want you to get ready. I want you to have strength on the inside in spite of all that you're dealing with to begin to get ready in spite of having children, in spite of being too old, in spite of not having enough money, in spite of the toxic relationships, in spite of the traumas that you went through. I want you to hear that bell and when it says get ready, I want you to get ready and not even let yourself tell you one type of excuse to do it. To not do it. No more excuses. It's not not happening because you're too old. It's not not happening because because you have children. It's not not happening because you're not with your your parent, um, your kid's uh, parent. It's not it's not because of the traumas that you went through. It's not because you're a male. It's not because it's female. It's not because of any other reason, but because you won't get ready. I'm talking to somebody today. It's because you won't get ready. That's the reason. I won't allow the things that happen in my life to begin to make me change the direction that it takes towards my destiny to what I deserve. And I'm going to be real with you, king and queens. The reason why we never get to a place to get ready is we believe that we don't deserve it. I'm going to say that again. The reason why we never get to a place to get ready is because we believe that we do not deserve it deep down on the inside. Well, we, we start questioning ourselves. Well, well, I would have never went through sexual abuse as a child if I really deserve it. It wouldn't have happened to me. Um, I would have never experienced these toxic relationships where I was getting physically and, and, and mentally and emotionally abused if I did deserve it. I wouldn't be in this place of a lack if I did deserve it. So deep down on the inside, if we can be real with ourselves and we begin to look in the mirror and say, you know what, I, I, I don't deserve it because of what I have experienced already. The, the, you deserving what you need to do to get ready to get to what you deserve, it has nothing to do with the experiences that you felt in your past. 
To determine whether you are supposed to get ready or not has nothing to do with your past experiences. And now, hey, Kizzo. Hey, Sugar. Little one here. Hey, love. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with it. We, ha we are connecting these horrible experiences to make it be that and, and, and connecting it to our worth. And it has nothing to do with our worth. And if you think about the people that have done great things in this lifetime, they have been through some hard things. So what, imagine Dr. Sabi, imagine Martin Luther King, imagine these people, imagine Gandhi. Imagine they, they believed what they have experienced in their past to be what their life is supposed to be. Imagine they gave up. Imagine they didn't get ready. Imagine they didn't come to a point to say life has to be more than this. This is not what I deserve, but the people deserve more. Imagine they did that. They would never have came to a place to teach us about us, our self-love, to teach us about our value and our worth. They would never been able to come to that place. Remember, your experiences help you to learn more when you get to that place that you deserve. I don't take this thing lightly when food is put on my table because I remember a time when I didn't even have a dollar to get a, a burger in, in McDonald's or Wendy's off the dollar menu and I was hungry for two days. I remember when I didn't even have my bank account was negative and I didn't even have money to get to fill my tank up for gas to get to work. There's some things that I remember that I dealt with that was hard. There was times that I dealt with that my parents, come on Nike, there was times that I felt like my parents did not love me, that my mother didn't love me because of the things she said to me, the things that she did to me. Can I list every single thing that she has done of abuse to me? Yes, I can. And that is why, no, no, we gotta begin to say, I went through these things for a reason. <laughs> Natural 87, hey love. I went through these things for a reason. There is more than what I I got to get ready for things. This eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. I have to prepare myself. Don't give up now, king and queen. You struggle for a reason. You went through for a reason. We went through all of these for a reason. And we're not going to give ourselves any excuses no more on why we're not going to get ready. Today's the day I'm going to get ready. I'm going to try God. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to try God. And what I mean by that is I hear the call to get ready. I'm going to get ready in spite of all the reasons I shouldn't. I'm going to get ready in spite of all the reasons I shouldn't. Every single excuse I could bring up for me not to get ready. I'm not doing it again. I heard the call a year ago, I heard the call five years ago, I heard it last week and I chose to ignore it because I had everything to say about it so I didn't do it. I know it's going to take some accountability, I know it's going to cause some things, but I'm ready. I'm getting ready because I'm ready. Do you hear me? I'm getting ready because I'm ready. I'm tired of living in lack. I'm ready to live in increase. I'm tired of living in this love with conditions. I'm ready to live in unconditional love. I'm tired of living in this struggle and being broke all the time. I am going to live in wealth and residual income. I am ready for what has been called for my life. Are you guys listening? Do you hear me? I am ready. I'm getting ready because I'm ready. Come on, Yogi. I am getting ready because I am ready now. But you don't look like you got it all. I don't got it all together. But you've been through some things. I've been through a lot of things. But I am ready for a turnaround. I am ready for change. So I am getting ready because I'm ready for something more. Come on, Nike. I am ready for something more. Life, this, this isn't the thing called life of that and that more abundantly that is spoken that I was supposed to have. I don't feel no type of abundance in the life I live right now. I am, I am always struggling. I, everything is always hard. The people I meet are always nasty, negative, petty, betrayal. I, there's a lot of things in my li life that are being attracted to these negative things. I don't want it anymore. I'm ready for the change. I'm ready for the turnaround. 
No, my bank account don't look like it. No, I don't have it all together. No, and no, and no. And yeah, you can go ahead and list 150 things on the reasons why I shouldn't get ready for what I'm preparing for. But you go on and list it and you waste your time doing it because I'm done with that life. I'm done with being in this life that hasn't been called for me and me acting like this is what the Most High wants for me. I'm done with it. I know that there's so much more than what I'm living and doing today. I am ready for the change. I'm getting ready because I'm ready for more. I'm ready for anything increase i'm ready for this real love i'm not I'm, I'm i'm done with this thing called this fake life we well a yogi to be honest we all been there so we all our journeys are similar but our destinies are different our journeys are similar but our destiny is different you know um and you know i, I i'm 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 gonna be honest with you yogi i'm reading the hell out of myself <laughs> i'm reading the hell out of myself I was waiting for years to get everything right. My bank account had to look right, my relationships had to look right, not just in my my partner relationships, but my family relationships and my friend relationships. I had to have the right job. It had to be, uh, my, my covers would have to be laid out. I had to iron my clothes. I had to do this, I had to do that. I had every single excuse and reason on why I'm not supposed to get ready because I didn't have everything all together. But the truth of the matter is, I, I, you're not supposed to have it all together when you're ready because that's that's where faith comes from. Faith comes from when your back is against the wall and you still believe it's going to work for you. Do you hear me? When your back is against the wall and you still believe it's going to work for you because you deserve it. You deserve it because you tried your very best with a good heart and the stars will begin to align for you. It's going to happen for you because you tried your best. And that's what that's the that's what the world doesn't want us to know. The world wants us to be perfect, but it's not about being perfect. Perfect. It's about us trying our very best. And when we do that, that is when we begin to see things move for us because a God doesn't need people that are perfect because a perfect person doesn't need a God. He wants wants the people to make mistakes. He wants you to be who he has called you to be. Who he has called you to be is you to be imperfect. And by you being imperfect, he can be the God in your life to make you perfect. And that's what we're forgetting. We can never get it all together because we wasn't created to. We wasn't created to be perfect and do everything right and have everything all together. We were created to have some mistakes. We were created to have some weaknesses. And in that weakness, he is made strong. So are you ready to stop living this low life? Are you ready to get in a place to where you deserve? Are you ready for that value and that worth that has been called for you? Are you ready to get ready? Come on, king and queens. I'm trying not to yell because I'm outside. My neighbors are going to stab me. If I was in the house, I'd have been yelling. I'm just letting y'all know. Y'all know me. Be ready to get ready. I'm ready for more. When I lay down on, in my head on the pillow at nighttime and I think about my day and the same nine to five and the same overnight and the same job and I come home and it seems like all I'm doing is working, eating and sleeping, working, eating and sleeping, working, eating and sleeping and, and I just feel in my bones and inside my soul that this isn't a life that has been called for me. I am ready for change. I'm ready. Oh, did you hit the lotto? Did you get some money in your hands? That's why you're going to change? No. No. I'm ready to try this, 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 the, the ultimate being. I'm ready to try my father and tell him that I'm ready. I don't, my, my bank account, come on, Joey, right? Uh, come on, Ginger Way. And I see you and hear you speak. My insides flip flop. <laughs> All praises to the most high. No, no, I'm ready. All I need to do is tell him I'm ready. I don't, it, it, it doesn't have to, I don't, it doesn't have to look like how it should. It, it doesn't have to look like, it doesn't, I, I don't have to show that I have money in my account. I gotta, I ain't gotta show that my life is all together. All I need to do is tell him I'm ready and get ready. Cause faith without works is dead. What do you mean by that, Candy? I could have faith that things are going to turn around for me, but if I'm not moving and acting as if it's turning around, then faith without works is dead. Nothing's going to happen for you. You can't sit back on the couch and say, yes, most high, I'm ready. Um, I'm going to get ready to and, and, and get ready. Uh, that's you just being ready. 
listen to listen to what I have to say. I'm trying to explain something. Come on, Nike. Come on, show you right. I'm I'm trying to explain something. The problem with us is we we. I said I said I said get um. I'm ready. I said I'm ready to get ready. Listen to me. So the problem with us is we stop at the ready, and we don't get ready. When we ha say we have faith, all we do is sit down on the, we, we sit where we're at and we say, I'm ready for this change. I'm ready for the turnaround. I'm ready for what you have for me most high. I'm ready for this life that has been called for me. And that's all we do. We, that is ready and getting ready. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. I, my bank account doesn't look like I should have this place that I should be living, but I'm going to go apply for it. I'm, I'm Y'all, man. I hope y'all hearing me. <laughs> Man. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys are here. Fusion! Thank you, love. I hope you guys are hearing me. The problem is we have enough faith to speak it, but we don't have enough faith to do it. I'm going to tell you something real short. I was finally deciding to, to move after being in my friend's house for a couple months to save up once I broke up with my ex to, to live, to buy a house. I was saving to buy a house. And when I had all my money together after seven months to buy this house, um, the most high had directed me in different ways. Anyway, long story short, there was a, a luxury apartment building that was insane. When I mean that the price was four times a mortgage. Three times a mortgage. The price a month was three times a mortgage. I had went to other places, they denied me. And this was the best of the best. The late retail the realtor said, I'm saying this for a reason, and y'all gotta Faith without works is dead. The realtor that I went to, she said, Candy, if you want to start at the start at the best and then work your way down. That way you're not picky and choosy and you know what you're looking for or you know what you could have or couldn't have or whatever. So she said, start here at the best, the number one luxury apartment building and then go on. I was trying other buildings and stuff and I was getting denied. So I went to that place and I saw the place. It was absolutely amazing, beautiful, everything. I mean, it had a bowling alley and the had a bowling alley inside the the our apartment, the complex. Um, it was insane. And um, right before I leave, the Most High said, "Fill out the application." And I could have been like, "Well, I just filled out one that was half the price, and they denied me." But I didn't. That's what I'm talking about, King and Queens. I filled it out. I didn't make an excuse. I didn't say what I got in the bank, what I don't got. I didn't say nothing. I didn't stop and say, Most High, what you talking about? This is three times a mortgage of a house. Why would I? I didn't say nothing. I, I, Faith without works is dead. I filled out that thing like it was an apartment that was $400. And you know, I got it. I got it. And I'm, when I say four times, we're talking about four time, th three times a mortgage in New York, not anywhere else. We know what a mortgage is in New York. Three times that price. And I got it. My bank account didn't show. My, 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 my yearly pay didn't show match it. Because you know you got to make four times as much as the rent is. Nothing showed. Nothing matched. But you know what? Because... I believed because I know my worth because I know who my father is and I'm obedient enough it says obedience is better than sacrifice you might sacrifice some things but at the end of the day you're still gonna listen to what you have to say but when you walk in obedience it's it's when you're in the hard place and you still say yes it's when you're in the low place and you don't got no strength left but you still say yes Obedience is when you're so weak, but you still do what has been called for you. 
That's obedience. A sacrifice is for a moment, but obedience is for a lifetime. Do you see the difference? And I was obedient in what he said, and he gave it to me. I, have, I had 24 doctors that worked under me in my health center, and three of them that are millionaires, because most, most of the dentists are millionaires in New York, right? I, I should say the older ones, not the new ones. They're millionaires. I know how much they get. They make a year. They didn't get it. That same, come on, J-Star, that same building. They said, the glass buildings by the water, by the bridge? You live there? And I was like, yeah. They was like, yo, I tried and tried to get in there. I, I never, they kept denying me. And these people, they, they, they have money. So it says something. You see what I mean? He will stand for you against all odds. And the, the reason why it doesn't happen to us is because we don't believe that we're worth it. We don't believe that we deserve it. Deep down on the inside, we could speak the faith, but we won't act on it. We know all the scriptures and we could say all the words, but are you living what you're saying you believe? Man, come on now, Sunflower. Come on, Nike. Talk about it. Come on, J-Star. But are you living what you say you believe? So I'm getting back to what I was saying. I'm ready to get ready. The problem is we always are ready, but we never get ready. Okay? We say, I know my I know the most high, I know what he can do. We sit on the couch, yeah, I believe he's gonna do great things, things are gonna turn around, and we continue to live the same life that we was living before we even spoke anything. We're missing the works. We're missing the works. The works is acting on what we believe. Are you living as if you should be an entrepreneur? Are you living? And that's, I'm not saying spend money. I'm talking about your steps. Your, your circles. Your connections. How you spend your time. Come on now. I, 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 would, y'all, I would tell y'all. Smack your neighbor. That's what I'd say right now. Come on. We're going somewhere. You hear me? Are you living like you are an entrepreneur that you have your own business? And I know you don't got one, but are you living as if you do? I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. Are we? Are you living as if you are an entrepreneur? Are you live? Are you living a life to represent that partner that you want, that loves you, that that will love you unconditionally and worship the ground that you walk on as you worship them? Do you? Are you living that life to represent what you want? That's that's faith without that's that's faith with works. That's faith with works. Come on, come on, show you right. Kool Aid, good Thursday. Oh, hi, Kool Aid. I love you. Welcome forward, love. <laughs> that's faith with works, because faith without works is dead. Thank you, Kool Aid. It's dead. Doesn't exist. It's empty. If you believe when you're ready, you're going to get ready. You're going to walk into, you're going to start filling out applications. You're going to fill out loans. You're going to step out on faith and believe in the father that has created you. And you're going to watch him move. Because that faith with action is going to begin to catapult you to a whole nother level of life. And that's what I say to you, king and queens. Get ready. Believe it's going to turn around because it is. There's a time and a season for all. Whether we choose to stay in a season over and over again is our choice. If I choose to wear a bikini in the summertime, wintertime, spring, and fall, that is my choice. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're choosing to stay in seasons while the world is turning and it's changing. I shouldn't say the world's turning, right? <laughs> while the world is changing and the seasons are changing, we're choosing to wear what we want to wear. If we have a winter coat and with faith without works is dead, we don't choose to move, then we're wearing a winter coat in the summertime, in the springtime, in the fall, and in the winter. We're ignoring the fact that there's a time and a season for everything. Junie, thank you for being a fan. I'm getting ready. Come on now, J-Star. That's what I'm talking about. 
so I'm ready to get ready. My mental space, my 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 thinking, my thoughts, uh, my actions, my energy towards myself is different now. I know that this thing that I'm living called life is not enough for what it, who I am. It's not enough for my worth. It's not enough for my value. I know that there's more. I know there's a greater destiny. I'm ready to get ready. I'm ready for this thing to turn around. I'm ready to start walking in what has been called for my life. I'm ready to reach this destiny that has been chosen for me not for anybody else but for me and if people don't want to help me with it I don't I'll do it all by myself it starts with you king it starts with you queen <laughs> Woo. guys <laughs> you'll see how much I love you to be out here in this crazy, <laughs> these crazy, I feel like Mr. T with these rings. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, you see me, Halo. <laughs> my allergies, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are gonna be saying bless you a thousand times. Oh, the thank you guys. Oh. Thank you, God. <gasps> you did! Yes! Make it delicious. You better put all those good seasonings on it. And no Lowry's or Goya. Goya, as Rican would say. Goya. You better get those good old. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's good. You see? It's good, right? Told you. Awesome love. I want to keep you keep me updated with your progress and everything. I love to encourage people to that are trying to live healthy. Still ate a piece of chicken yesterday. No. <laughs> keep keep trying, love. And as long as you eat less and less, you know, that's what matters to work your way from not doing it. Day by day. Right. Exactly, J Star. There you go. Well, you're gonna get there. We speak it and we say it and we believe it. You're gonna get there. You see me. You're gonna get there. We'll slip and fall, but we're we're gonna get there. We're gonna make it across that finish line. You heard me? We're gonna make it across that finish line. That's the goal, right? Always and forever. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna close off with this, my loves. Here we go. And I want you to catch it, so get ready. I have your mitts out. Catch this, catch this before I get off of here. I'm closing out this getting ready. The word says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. All, all, all. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard nor has it entered into the hearts of man all eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor has it entered into the hearts of man no one on this earth has ever even thought of it or imagined it all that God has prepared for those who love him I'm speaking of you, king and queens. I'm speaking of you, king. Not your neighbor, not your sister, not your brother, not your mother, father, children. I'm not talking to anybody but you, king. And I'm not talking to anybody but you, queen. Eyes have not seen. You know, I feel like I always get the short end of the stick, man. Everything's happening for everybody but me. I'm going to say it again. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man all that God has prepared. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. You hear me? When is it my time? Why, why, why is it always doesn't happen for me? Every time I see, listen to me. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Nor has it entered into the hearts of men all that God has prepared. Don't look around, King. 
Don't look around, queen. Look in the mirror for you. For you. For you. So be ready to get ready for all that has been in store for the life that has been created for you before you was conceived. Live it. Believe it. Feel it. And let it happen for you. Stop being your own defense and offense. You think people are holding you back. You holding yourself back. Believe in who you are. Because if he believed in you so much that he is, he is able to prepare these things for you that no one has ever seen. That speaks of your worth, king. And that speaks of your value, queen. That's just created just for you. Just for you. Prepare yourself. It's going to turn around. And the way that it begins to turn around is when we believe that it will. When we know the seasons are changing, we prepare our clothes because we know the season's changing. What I'm telling you, King and Queens, is prepare yourself for the new season. If you believe it and you want to come up out of this thing that you feel that you call life that doesn't feel like it, prepare yourself for the new. Prepare yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually for what is in store for your life. Come on, Jay. Sweet. Hey, love. Come on, sexy vegan. Come on. Prepare yourself. Because it's your time. You hear me? It's your time if you allow it. So be ready to get ready. Be ready to get ready. I'm going to prepare myself for this season that is changing. It's turning around for me. I believe it's turning around for me. It says I believe it's turning around for me. I believe. Not my mother, not my father, not my children. I believe. Not my partner. I believe it's turning around for me. I'm going to live as if it's turning around for me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It won't always be like this. He'll perfect that concern in me. Yes. And sooner or later... It will turn in my favor Sooner or later It will turn in my favor It's turning around for me It's turning around for you, King It's turning around for you, Queen Hey, First Lady It's turning around Believe it, live it Even if it doesn't look like it Don't, don't be scared of the faces don't be scared of the comments, what people have to say. I, 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 I'm living my life. You can say all you want about my life. It's my life to live. I'm not going to let you hold me back by the things you got to say and by you putting doubts in my mind. Y'all better start checking your circles and being around people that believe and being around these people that have faith on the inside and they act on it, not faith without works, because that is dead. I'm telling you, my loves, believe it. Watch your circles. You don't even got to tell everybody. Just do it. There's some things that you go through in your life that people don't need to know. They'll be the first one to tell you you can't do it. So be careful. Because our closest friends can be our worst enemies. And we never even know. So live that life that has been called and get ready for the change. And live as if it's changing. It may not look like it, but the faith will begin to shift some things in the atmosphere because you're acting on it and it will begin to move. 